When you think of humans on horses, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Perhaps it's the image of the rustic cowboy traveling the countryside on his noble steed, guarding the cattle on the open range. Or it could be the Canadian Mounties, you know, Dudley Do-Right. While some of those images are that of fantasy, the practice of mounted patrol is indeed a very serious thing, exemplifying the bond between human and horse while providing a unique alternative to the typical squad car. It's the vantage from atop a horse that gives these officers a perfect opportunity to spot trouble before it occurs. And on this episode of AIB Presents, we'll get a closer look at the men and women of the Mounted Patrol of the Atlanta Police Department and learn about who they are, what exactly they do, and even go on a ride along with the horses as we go out of the stables and onto the streets. And chunk that mounting block out of here. Unless you need it, I'll get off and chunk it out. It's another day on the job for Senior Patrol Officer Michael England, a 20-year veteran of the Atlanta Police Department. All right, All right guys, great job. Uh, good ride, good hand position, good feet position. Now that we've cooled down our horses, remember it's so important that we groom our horses, actually for their stimulation and to keep them clean. We know after our ride, once the cool down is complete, we are going to go in and do some post care, which will include include grooming. So, you guys ready to fall out from the right? Fall out. Yeah, currently I'm the uh, uh, training coordinator responsible for the, uh, all the training that goes around here at the Mount of Patrol. Of course, uh, pretty much the way it works is uh, we go through a uh, interview process uh, once the, uh, the candidates are chosen and they've been transferred here. Pretty much what we have to do is turn a police officer into a horseman. Now, Doing that, we have 12 weeks to make that tra transition uh, in, into a horseman. We've got it set up in a uh, modular system, so it's easy for learning. They get plenty of saddle time with a concentration on natural horsemanship and equitation. Equitation is huge. We really want these new officers to really know about horses. We want them to know how to interact with horses. We want them to know how to ride and control a horse. So the first couple of weeks, they just become familiar with the barn and barn management. So you gotta imagine how many things we have to do around here at the barn. From the horse feeding, to the horse care, to the, to the cleaning of the stalls, just to managing the ground is huge. So the first week is concentrated on that and the basic groundwork of handling a horse. So we have to have an officer that's safe and comfortable around horses. So the first week really concentrates on that. Pretty much after that, going into week two, we go mounted. Mounted, we have some different levels of riding. They start out at level A the first day. They, they, they mount their horses, which is all our exercises are done at a walk. We concentrate on that until they get a seat evaluation. Once the seat evaluation, which we can determine their balance and their control of the horse, they're ready to move on to, to uh, further steps such as trotting, which is now level B. Then again, we work through the steps of trotting at level B. Then we go through the steps of evaluation again. After an evaluation, we go to level C. From level C, we go on to cantering. Once we get the officer really comfortable with the equitation, and they can control the horse, have balance on that horse, then we can begin some of our police tactics. Now basically what we're using our horses for out here on the street is A, a mode of transportation. So you've got a trained City of Atlanta police officer now on his mode of transportation, which is a horse. Huge advantage to us is the terrain we can cover and the horse on the street is a huge icebreaker. Also, the horse is worth several men on the street if they were ever to come to a crowd management situation. So now we're more into police tactics and riding like that. Once the officer completes that, now we're off in a different terrain. Since the training mostly takes place here on the flat in the arena, now we have to give the officer, the new officer, a taste of what it's like to actually ride outside the gate. We want to be able to ride hills, through trees, through the woods. So then begins a couple of weeks of uneven terrain training. And luckily for us, we're here at Grant Park. We can use Grant Park and kind of uses our training, our proving ground as far as we have the park to work out of, the, uh, the surrounding neighborhoods. So once the officer goes through that, uh, he gets teamed up. Once he graduates uh, uh, from 
Mounted Patrol after he takes a pretty comprehensive written, written test, a pretty comprehensive uh, equitation uh, test. He would then graduate uh, from Mounted Patrol School here, receive his sabers, and then he would be assigned to a veteran officer to pretty much works uh, hand in hand, side by side for about the next six months. You build a bond, you build a relationship with your horse, all the officers will tell you. You ask them which one is the best horse, it's gonna be theirs. Well, I'm gonna tell you that now, Emmett is the best horse and uh, he is the most handsome horse, but ask any other officer and they're gonna tell you their horse is pretty much the same. But yeah, I, when I get in, of course, all these horses are ours. Uh, one day I may ride Emmett. If I come in the next morning, Emmett is, is missing a horseshoe and we need to call the farrier and I still have to go on patrol. So I may have to go down the line and pick another horse. Well, I want to be familiar with all these horses and I care equally about each and every one. Of course, Emmett gets a special wink at the end of the day on the way out, but still I'm, we're, we're responsible for, for 12 of our horses and we're all trained to take care of all of our horses. Yet yeah, we have an emphasis on, on safety here. So pretty much after the first week of working on their groundwork, getting them where they'll be safe, getting them where they can manage the barn, then we can, can go forward. We're gonna talk about horse physiology. We're gonna talk about horse nutrition. Uh, we're gonna talk about just in general horse care. When to call a vet. Uh, each officer is trained in how to uh, conduct basic first aid for their horses for minor scratch, scrapes and scratches. Of course, once it goes beyond that, they know to recognize the signs, when to immediately, when to call the vet. Uh, it continues from there. I mean, as far as their uh, uh, tactical training goes, we try to study, talk about it, go through some different scenarios. But it, truly, in the very beginning, we want them to have a great understanding and knowledge actually of a horse, about a horse, and how to ride a horse. Officer England isn't the only dedicated member of the force. Meet Valentina Blake and her horse, Hercules. Officer Blake is a relatively new member of the force. Well, I've always loved animals, but really it was just, I love interacting with the community and that's what we're doing every day. Um, you guys saw us out there with the kids and stuff. It's just, it's the best job in the world. It's the hardest job I've ever had, but um, it's just really rewarding work. Her horse, Hercules, is a Petron breed. Originally bred as war horses, they originated in western France and are well muscled and known for their intelligence and willingness to work. They average close to 2,000 pounds and can adapt well to many conditions on the fly, which is critical in this line of work. Most people ask us, you know, how you choose your horse, but really it's just kind of a mutual thing. Um, I fell in love with him because of his personality, not riding, but just with everyone else. He's the sweetest horse in the whole barn. It's not because he's big or anything like that. He's just so good. He's so good with kids and the community. Whenever a kid comes up, he'll do like that, let him come pet his face. He's just a really sweet horse. And um, he just needs a rider that's really patient. You know, he's got some quirks. He's got some separation anxiety sometimes. So um, we just kind of chose each other, I guess. Um, he's 12 years old. He's a Percheron Thoroughbred Cross. You'll see a lot of our horses are bigger. It's not because we like the big horses. It's just the temperament. You know, they have to be interacting with a child one second, but then maybe go into a riot the next second. So it's just an interesting personality they have to have, and the, um, the Percheron breeds are really good for that. What we'll be practicing is a few formation moves. We know formations are used to get from point A to point B. Once we've located ourselves at point B, we will use these formations to conduct crowd management, Everybody feeling nice and loose? Yeah. Yep. So you, you have to apply for the Atlanta Mounted Patrol. Um, you have to have two years in good standing and um, all your, you have to have good recommendations from supervisors. And really it's an intensive interview where you actually do a lot of the manual labor around here and you actually interact with the horses. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many arrests you made on the street, you know, a lot of it's just personality. If you can interact with this horse, they're so instinctual that they know your personality. So that's a lot of it. It's just an intensive interview process. And then, um, you know, you get selected. Another veteran member of the team is Lieutenant Brian Schiffbauer. He explains that being on the mounted police involves trusting a partner who towers over you. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Brian Schiffbauer from the Atlanta Police Mounted Patrol. And this is my partner, Sir Joseph Magnum. Magnum is a four-year-old Percheron <clears throat> cross. He came to us from Utah, Alabama and when he came to us, he was three years old. 
and now he's four. He is the biggest horse of the herd. Our shift usually is from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. <clears throat> so the day starts out, we have roll call. Sergeant Shafter and I will conduct roll call. We'll let the guys know what we're gonna do for the day, where they're patrolling. Right now that we're in training mode, um, only a few officers are going out daily to patrol. Um, so we'll have roll call, and then immediately, it's caring for the horses and cleaning the barn. Um, fresh water, uh, cleaning hooves, making sure the horses are good to go for the day and preparing them for what they have to set out for. And um, from there, they'll do their activities, whatever they have to do, their police function, and then they'll come back at the end of the day, about this time, about two o'clock, we take care of the horses again, recheck their hooves, fresh water, feed them, fresh food, and everything else to ensure that they're the best carried horses for in, uh, in the state of Georgia and all over the United States. We love our horses. We patrol downtown Chastain Park, Midtown Piedmont Park, virtually all over the city of Atlanta. We have a huge support from the community and Chief George Turner. We have a tremendous uh, amount of support from the city government as well. The officers of the Mounted Patrol clearly have a strong bond with their animals and the crew started in the most modest of circumstances. It's been around since the 70s. Originally, they were riding their own horses, actually. It was just a few officers riding the, their own horses. Um, it got disbanded for a few years due to funding in like early 2000s. Um, really, the Atlanta Police Foundation, they've been just a huge help. They, uh, they, help, they help purchase some of our horses. This whole facility was donated by Georgia Power and the Atlanta Equestrian Society. So. That, that's a lot of what we run on. Um, so now we have what, 10 officers and 12 horses, but we're about to get more than that. So it's gonna be, we're gonna be really expanding out there. As soon as we all get through training, you know, all the citizens will see us around. Located in the heart of Grant Park, the officers of the Mountain Patrol are dutiful and focused, engaging in various aspects of police training as well as horsemanship. Here we go, looking good. Keep them going. And we're smooth. Call them a twos. Move. Technically, we have 12 weeks of intensive training. You know, first we have to learn how to ride a horse. So the four of us that just came over, none of us had any riding experience whatsoever. So that's a lot of it, just learning actually how to ride. And then we learn everything you learn in the police academy, you have to learn how to do on the horse. So we arrest from the horse, we chase down suspects on the horse, um, we're in charge of all the riot control, so we have to learn crowd control, things like that. But um, really training never ends. We have officers that have been here for years who are still learning stuff every day when we go out there, so it's just continuous. Well, you know, part of the reason certain officers come over to Mountain Patrol is your personality, how you interact with the community. Our main goal every day when we're out there, 99% of our job is building community relations back up. So yeah, there is a lot of bad press with police, but we're trying to kind of change that. Now we will get into bad situations, you know, we learn, um, you know, not everyone likes horses. We get into some situations where people want to hurt them and stuff, but you know, same thing as a police officer, we got to act. Hercules gets trained to deal with that kind of situation too. So. We just got to handle it as it comes. But in most situations, we're always trying to de-escalate. Move! And how exactly do they de-escalate? It seems it would be extremely difficult to apprehend a suspect on a horse. Senior Patrol Officer England and Officer Blake explained the process and how it came about. We received a lot of that training uh, from our annual trip to uh, Kentucky, working with those uh, other 85 to 100 officers. We also got some of that information from the uh, uh, a mounted patrol manual. Actually, it's called a mounted patrol manual for the mounted officer. Uh, the main thing it really coordinates is control of the horse. You notice as the horses were moving out there, they all had to be in control. You couldn't have a horse out of control. You've got to keep them, you've got to control their speed, you've got to control their movement, and then all horses have to work together. It's a team effort, it's a coordinated effort, especially when there's a two-man team approaching a subject, not necessarily for arrest, just for safety. Uh, they're trained especially one to be facing inward, one to be facing outward. That way they can cover the ground if, if the subject attempts to, to leave. Bend down really far. <laughs> no, um, so we, we cuff them straight from the horse and then you just kind of hold them. You kind of hold them from the shoulder. Um, and then normally, hopefully, a ground officer will come and take them. 
But no, it, if we don't have to, we don't get off the horse for anything. So it would just be arresting from a top of him. All right, Mine Patrol, we're about to engage a subject. The subject's gonna be a, an, an arrestee. Uh, we're gonna have knock rounder, you're gonna be our rear guard once we set up. As we approach the subject, we're gonna wheel right. We're going to, once we've wheeled right, Blake will engage him with verbal commands. Officer Dobler will be her backup and her assist. Make sure you guys are in the correct position to allow him from running forward. Dobler, you've got him there. If he goes down the rail, Blake, you've got him there. Myself, Officer Funderburk, Lieutenant Schiffbauer, and myself will be lined up in the back to watch for further threats. And again, knock rounder, you're gonna be watching and working as rear guard. So we're gonna work off the command of uh, forward move. We're gonna move forward at a half step, then we'll command of wheel right. As we wheel right, when you see the subject, we pretty much got him, go ahead and start giving your commands. Line of patrol, forward, move. Wheel right, move. Sir, stop where you're at. Put your hands up in the air. Back off. Okay, stay right where you're at. Turn around. Sir, walk toward me. Come here. If you run, All right, let's, let's, chase you. Stand let's right move, move that rear guard. That's a good, good. You're under arrest right now. Do not Good run. position. Put your hand on your back. Mound Patrol, subject is secure. We're going to escort him out of the area. Knockrunner, Officer Funderburk, you're going to be lead, column of two. Myself and the lieutenant are going to follow, escort him out from the rear. Forward, move, at a half step. Prepare to halt and halt. Exercise is over. When we return, we'll head out of the stables and into the streets to see what the mounted officers see. Earlier in the program, we met the officers and their horses and learned the importance of horse safety and maintenance. But now is when the fun begins and we get to see those officers in action. Let's join them on patrol. One day while patrolling downtown, uh, Going down Peachtree, my horse looking good, well groomed, my boots nice and shiny. I come upon a uh, brand new foot beat officer who looked up at me and said, uh, wow, you, you've got an easy job. And I said, hey, young man, listen here. This is not the easiest job the city has. You don't know how what I had to go through to get to this point. I had to shovel poo. I had to groom my horse. I had to get a truck ready. I had to shine tack. I had to put my uniform on. I had to load my, my horse on the trailer. I came down here. I mounted him. And now you finally see me. I said, this is the hottest job. This is the coldest job, but this is the greatest job that the city has to offer. I think I got his attention that day. Because even when we take him out every day, he's always in the playground. He's ready to go every day. It's important to note that before the horses leave, they are fitted with a special kind of horseshoe, a product made of metal, designed to protect from the wear and tear of the street. They are attached on the palmer surface of the hooves and sometimes glued. If you notice, their horseshoes are different than all of their horseshoes. They're called smooth walkers. It allows you to walk really quietly. So we can go around these back neighborhoods, like Chastain and Midtown we've been in a lot lately. We can go around, people hardly even hear us coming. Um, you don't hear the car engine coming, sirens, stuff like that. So we've been really working to uh, stop auto thefts, um, larceny from vehicles, burglaries, everything like that that happened during the daytime you know, we can kind of prevent. Before the officers hit the street, they go through a safety check and make sure the horses are road ready. right, column of twos, and move. Formation's gonna work. 
If not, we can trade it up. We'll take the shamrock up to the front if we need to. Shamrock, take the front. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we're going to go north on Cherokee. Stay out of biting distance. All right, Dakota's taking the lead. He's going to drive us on through. Come on, here we go, guys. Forward, march. Like I said, 99% of our job every day to day is building relations with the community, that kind of thing. If something does happen, we are prepared, but that's not day-to-day -day life, really. Typically, the officers are out three to four hours on patrol, and when they are, a small crowd usually follows. And to those who think that officers on the segways are getting more done. I can take my horse and park in front of the aquarium and a segway, an officer on the segway can park right here. I will come in contact and make over a hundred contacts personally with citizens and visitors to the city of Atlanta to present the image of the city of Atlanta Police Department. The Segway guy, let me just get a quick peek into how you're doing and go on by. Second, the Segway, compared to the horse, the horse is worth 10 to 15 men in the street in the crowd management situation. Meeting at the zoo gives the patrol the opportunity to engage with the community. Yeah, go say hey to the officers. Touch right here. Touch right here. Look how long his leg is, isn't it? Here, come right here. You see your hand. Touch right, touch right here. Mom, come over here with him after you get your picture. Make sure his little toes are safe. Thank you. You gonna pick him up? Three steps, move. Prepare to dismount. Dis. Mount. Run your stirrups up. Loosen your girth. And back at the compound, the unit dismounts and puts the horses up until the next day. 
but the bond between horse and human remains. I have worked pretty much every assignment in the city of Atlanta from drugs to a beat car, Red Dog, to Federal Task Force. And this is definitely the most rewarding job that I have had yet. Um, having a animal as a partner is, is good because believe it or not, he watches my back and I watch his back. Um, and you know, and the thing that I like about the Mounted Patrol more than anything is just the community support that we get and what I can give back to the community. So that's really good. And that's really why I got into law enforcement was to help the community and really reach out to children. And what a better way to do it than this 1800 pound, 18 hand little man right here. Um, another thing that the, uh, the Mounted Patrol does on a regular basis is we patrol the city streets of Atlanta outside of the community. We just don't go out to the parks. We're on all city streets. We're downtown, we're in the English Avenue community, we're in Chastain Park. We're in the Erickson Street community. We do a lot of details, parades. So we're all over the place. And like I said, we have a tremendous amount of support from city government, and we're really happy about that. I love interacting with the community, and that's what we're doing every day. Um, you guys saw us out there with the kids and stuff. It's just it's the best job in the world. It's the hardest job I've ever had, but um, it's just really rewarding work.